Welcome back to another edition of Courting Cinderella's here on the Field of 68 Media Network. I have Ohio head coach Jeff Bowles, and we are going to be breaking down the MAC champion Kent State Golden Flashes. Uh, coach, let's start with this. Um, Kent State, they, they won the MAC tournament. What is it that they do so well? How are they so good offensively? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, number one, they got two dynamic guards. You know, Malik Jacobs, probably the best defender in our league. Since their carry was a player of the year last year. Um, you know, top five player in our league this year. And, you know, they're, they're just experienced. They've been through the wars. You know, I think they went 15-3 and three in our league. And, you know, they really hang their hat on the defensive end. You know, their defense is really good. They scramble hard. They play hard. And, uh, you know, they got great complementary pieces around those two. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. They are known in league for uh, for what they do on the defensive end of the floor. How well do you think that will transition and translate playing against a higher level of competition when you get in the tournament? Because they're going to be like a 13, 14 seed, somewhere in that range. Yeah, you know, we played them twice. We lost by five at our place at home, lost by seven at their place. Uh, we were able to score 75 at their place. And, um, you know, I think if you look at their non-conference, you know, they, they went toe to toe with, you know, Houston, they went toe to toe with Gonzaga, probably should have won that Gonzaga game. And I think, you know, the fear factor is not going to be there for them. You know, like I said, they got experienced guards, you know, going into it and they're going to, they're going to do what they do. And, um, you know, whoever they match up against that, you know, four or five seed, whatever they get, you know, is going to have their hands full. So the NCAA tournament is known as uh, known as an event where you need a backcourt to be able to survive, right? Sincere Carey, Malik Jacobs, you mentioned both of those guys. Not great shooters. Are you worried about that when it comes to being able to maybe pull an upset? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, like when we won it two years ago, I thought, we thought Jason Preston was the best player on the floor against Virginia. And, you know, th those two guys, whoever they match up against, are going to be, you know, some of the better guys on that floor. You know, Carey doesn't shoot the ball great, but he makes big shots. You know, he'll hit clutch shots when he needs to. Uh, you know, Jacobs is more of a mid-range driver. And like I said, they got, you know, Thomas on the perimeter can make threes. Uh, Sollinger can make threes. So they got some guys that, that play off of them that, uh, that'll step up. Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. So you've pulled off one of these upsets before i believe it was two years ago you knocked off virginia you just mentioned it what's the most important thing that that rob senderhoff is going to need to tell this team heading into this matchup how do you prepare your guys for uh for a game like this how do you get them ready to pull off an upset yeah i think the biggest thing is confidence right you got to believe you can win and you know like i said we 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 thought we could win against virginia uh even though they're their acc champs you know we felt like we had the best player on the floor in jason preston and he almost had a triple double that game and I think just the confidence going in and, you know, getting off to a good start will be big, uh, you know, just to build that confidence. And, and uh, you know, those TV timeouts are so long. A lot of times the crowd gets, uh, you know, up for the underdog, so that'll help them as well. And, you know, whoever they play is going to be in for a dogfight. We talked about their guards. We talked about their defense. What kind of matchup would worry you for them? Where, where can they maybe uh, – where would they maybe struggle? What kind of a team? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they, their guards play a lot of minutes. You know, so if they, those guys get in foul trouble, um, you know, somebody who can really attack them, um, you know, getting in paint, uh, you know, they, they'll they'll double team the post. We have a dominant post player that they did a pretty good job on. Uh, so I think just a, an athletic team that can really get downhill, get in the paint, you know, you know cause some uh, pressure on them defensively. Well, there you have it, the Kent State Golden Flashings. We will see if they are able to pull off an upset in the issue's NCAA tournament, just like, just like Jeff Bowles did not two years ago. Jeff, thanks, man. I appreciate your time. All right, thanks, Rob.